Alright everybody, for a warm up, we're going four minutes in an ascending ladder of these three following movements. We're doing two mountain climbers to start, um, then two kick ups, uh, which I'll show you, and then two squat jumping jacks, again, which I'll show you. After you go through one round of that, two, two, and two, then you'll add two, four, 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 then six, 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 eight, eight, eight. You'll do that for the two minutes. So, mountain climbers right here. The kick ups, you'll be right here, leg in the air, alternating your feet like that. Um, obviously, do them as fast as you can or as slow as needed. Uh, and then the squat jumping jacks, of course, squatting down, jumping up, so a jumping jack, adding the squat to it. And then for our mobility, we're going three rounds, we've got three different movements. The first one is going to be uh, just regular good mornings, so obviously only bending at the hips, not bending at the knees keeping your chest up, you want to keep that back straight as you're going through. The next two, we've got 10 uh, seated 90s. Basically, if you remember, legs at 90 degrees, let me turn here, 90 degrees here, 90 degrees there, and then you're just switching, trying to get both knees to the ground as you go through those. And then the leg drops, these oh, we've done before, knees together, dropping them down side to side. So 10 of those as well. Then for the first part of our workout, we're doing five sets of two movements back to back. So the first one is going to be weighted, um, either single leg RDLs or if you can't do the single leg, we do both legs. Um, but you'll need the weight, so grab. Um, What's going to be easiest is probably the backpack because you can just put, you know, plastic water bottles or books, whatever you have, in and then just kind of holding it out front, single leg, again, keeping your back straight, only bending at the knee, or at the hip rather, not the knee, just like that. So it's going to be 12 to 15 per leg or 12 to 15 just if you're doing both legs. <clears throat> then we're doing immediately after one, one set of that. So you'll do one set of that immediately into 12 single leg uh, glue hand bridges. So you'll need a chair or a couch, something that you can lay down and get your feet up onto. If you want to add the weight to this, you just set your weight on your lap and then making sure you're at 90 degrees. Again, one leg goes up in the air and you're pushing through your heel up towards the ceiling, nice and controlled, pausing for a second at the top there. Like I said, we're doing 12 each leg. So one set is the RDLs right into uh, these bridges and then you'll rest after that and you're doing five total sets of that. Okay, and then the second uh, part for the strength work is you're doing five sets, 15 to 20 reps per leg of overhead back step lunges. So you'll get your weight. Um, you can, you know, if it's a dumbbell, it'll be a little less awkward, but it'll still work with the bag. Holding it overhead, and then with whatever arm is up, that leg is the one that's gonna go back. You're gonna step back, sink down, and then come back up. So 15 to 20 per leg, um, I know it's high, but that's just because most likely won't have a super high amount of weight. Um, and again, with those and the previous movements, do them slow, work through the, the movements, you know, don't rush through them. Um, you'll get a better uh, contraction as you're going through, you'll get more out of it. All right, then we're going into an ab workout. So we're doing five rounds of the following three movements. It's not gonna be a lot of reps. Um, so it's gonna be eight hollows, 10 leg raises, and 12 clams. So remember, the hollows, laying down, arms extended, legs extended, 
contracting the core coming up into this curved kind of banana shape back down then obviously leg raises legs coming up nice and controlled back down try to not let them hit the ground and then the clams right here tucking the knees in bringing the uh, torso up as well feet coming back to the ground so 8 10 12 uh, you know respectively for these we're doing them slow so I know it's five rounds but it's not a lot of reps so do them slow especially on the way down for each you know movement focus on activating your core contracting it um, again you're gonna get a whole lot more out of it than if you just kind of rush through it and last uh, on the menu today We've got a death by for bodyweight squats. So we're starting with five, adding five each round. So what that means is every minute you're going to add five to what you did before and do that number of squats within the minute. So as soon as I start my timer, I'm doing five bodyweight squats. Then I'm gonna rest after I do five until the next minute starts. Then I'm gonna add five so I have 10. Okay, then I have 15, 20, 25, do the math, all the way up until you can't do that number of squats within the minute. Um, make sure that you wanna be going quickly uh, and efficiently, obviously, to get as many rounds as you can in, but you wanna make sure you're hitting uh, full depth in those squats every single time. Um, so that's today's workout. As always, we'll be back tomorrow for another workout. Um, these workouts may seem kind of repetitive because we're using, you know, the same kind of movements, um, but that's, uh, uh, the nature of doing at-home workouts, um, so bear with me. Bring everything you have to every workout, I promise. Uh, I'll change it up, uh, as much as I can, and, uh, just try to have a little bit of fun with them and push yourself.